we are in Charleston, West Virginia. We arrived late last night and we're gonna go in here and get some breakfast. I like the random set of kitchen chair tables. Like, yeah, this kitchen table is exactly like something people would have had growing up. I love this one in the old fashioned 1950s. It's like kitchen tables through the decades. I love the aesthetic of this restaurant, the Cafe Appalachia. It's actually made in an old abandoned church, and it has its own garden out back. Uh, so we enjoyed kind of looking around the garden while we waited for our food, which uh, was very good. Um, we are on this little trip because our grandson had a break from school, so we drove down so we could spend some time with him. Uh, he's not much of a breakfast eater, so he didn't eat, but the rest of us did, and everything was very tasty. Known as West Virginia's hippest record store. Just looking around an old record store called Budget Records. Or is it Budget Tapes? <laughs> Tiff has a record player, so she did buy a few vinyl records. And then we continued on. This is Trevelyan's Pharmacy. It's been here since the 1950s and it has a little soda shop counter. Uh, the food was good. Now I got some fries and a couple little slider burgers. Uh, and it really wasn't much of a store anymore. It just had a simple pharmacy in the back, but the food at the counter was good. And now here we are at the uh, Capitol building, so I will show you that. Well, the Capitol building turned out to be a great impromptu stop. I knew it was a beautiful building and I thought we would just see it from the outside, but we decided to just stop, tour the grounds, and go in the building. Everyone who worked there was super friendly and informative, and we enjoyed our time there. And then we actually even toured the museum on West Virginia's history, which was really interesting, uh, but it didn't film well. It was kind of dark inside, so I don't really have any good footage of it. It was free, and we enjoyed looking around there and learning about West Virginia's history. And then it was time to hit the road again on our way to Fayetteville and the New River Gorge National Park. West Virginia has an app that you can download with a waterfall trail tracker. And when you approach a waterfall, you check in and it keeps track of all the waterfalls that you see and then you can earn prizes. So I ended up getting a waterfall sticker sent to me in the mail for checking into three different waterfalls while we were on this trip. Um, this is Kanawha Falls. Uh, we just kind of happened upon it with a sign on the side of the road. So we stopped and took a look and then drove down the road a little bit further. Just drove a little bit further down the road and saw a sign for Cathedral Falls. So we're trying to see exactly where Cathedral Falls is. Not a lot of water, water falling down. We've arrived at the New River Gorge Visitor Center. We're gonna go check it out. We came on this trip because our grandson lives in Kentucky and he had a four day fall break from school. So we thought it was a good opportunity to pick him up and drive from Kentucky over to West Virginia and see the New River Gorge area. He's often in the background of shots, but does not really like to be on camera, so I respect that and don't film him directly. So 
So we left the visitor center and now we are on a scenic walk. Scenic view. Yep. Scenic view. Trying to find the scenic views of the bridge. I see some stuff up ahead. Ooh, happy. The view of the bridge was breathtaking and I can only imagine how amazing it must look from down below. There is a scenic drive that you can take that'll take you down to the river level where you can see the bridge from below. If you have the time, I highly recommend doing that as we did not do that this trip, but hopefully we will do that in the future. stairs now back up to the top 178 stairs up shouldn't be too bad because it's nice and cool out today see you at the top so we took the scenic trail down and saw the bridge it was beautiful uh, there's lots of other ways you can see the bridge there's uh, the bridge walk where they attach you to the bridge uh, like when you're repelling or zip lining and uh, you walk underneath the bridge. And then every third Saturday of October, once a year, they celebrate the anniversary of the bridge, which has been here since 1977. And they allow pedestrians to walk across the bridge and bungee jumping off the bridge. Uh, we are not doing anything adventurous like that. No zip lining and no uh, walking under the bridge because we're here with our grandson and he is not a fan of those kind of things. So we are just gonna do low key fun things. All right, we're on a short little one mile hike to Mill Creek Falls of Hawk's Nest. So we'll see if it's worth the little walk. Uh, but we really couldn't decide what to do after seeing the bridge at New River Gorge. So we kind of looked at the map and decided on this. So it's beautiful here in this big gorge. Uh, so we'll uh, continue on our hike and show you the waterfall when we get there. So far it was easy to find parking, um, well labeled trailhead. So those are all positive so far. Saw the falls. It was a nice little hike. It is 6 p.m., so it's starting to get a little dark. It's been drizzling, so getting a little bit rained on. So we are gonna walk back to our car and then head into town and find ourselves some dinner. Well, in typical adventure fashion for me, it is now pouring rain out of us. It went from a nice day to a little drizzle to it's really getting rainy out. So by the time we get back to our car, we'll probably all be no, soaked. The trees are sitting on the shit. The heavy stuff's not going to come down for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> all right, well, we're back to our car. It continued to rain on us more and more and more. Here, drenched. But was it worth it? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It was an okay it waterfall. Was okay. It was. It was worth it. All right. Keep on playing stuff. All right. It was something to do. It was nice. It was a pretty waterfall. But that's it. We're going to go get dried off. See you later. We're going to get some dinner. So we went back to the hotel and got cleaned up, got dried off, got changed. And now we're going to grab some dinner. So we're going to go to this place I found online. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it sounded like a cute name. It's called Pies and Pints. So we're going to go check it out. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so as I'm trying to post a new video each week. So it was a 45 minute wait at the restaurant. So we're just gonna walk around downtown for a little bit and check out Fayetteville. Found this cute store, Lost Appalachia Trading Company. Oh, 
We walk down to check out this cool mural. Well, while we are continuing to wait for our table, we got a text that our table was ready, so we headed over to the restaurant. Once there, everything on the menu looked good and we were starved, so we ordered a lot of pizza. So we are eating a street corn pizza. What do you got there? He's got an entire... Pepperoni? Ah! Pepperoni pizza! Street corn pizza, which was very different. And uh, tasty margaritas and... Some yummy appetizers. Very good meal. Everyone loved the food and thought it was worth the wait. And after dinner, we went back to our hotel to get a good night's sleep so we could get up in the morning and start again. Thanks for watching.